If you fish on your kayak, you need a place to put your tools. But if you don't want to make a permanent installation, like I showed right here, well, John Nuka came up with a great idea that I'm going to share with you next. Stay tuned. John liked the idea of having a tool caddy down here at your side to be able to get at things like scissors and knives and pliers and things like that. But I think he didn't like the fact that I permanently attached this on the strip of vinyl strapping using well nuts or you could have used rivets. So basically he said, well, why not just make this removable? <laughs> Great idea. So here's how you do it. The first thing you do is you go to the dollar store, get yourself a cutting board, cut off a slice that's going to match how many tools you want. And I've got a lot of this skinny Velcro, but you could use the fat Velcro as well. And then all we're going to do is we're going to glue this fat Velcro to this piece of cutting board, drill two holes, run a cord through, and then hang it from the side. And to do that, you can get some T-bolts, and I've got these knobs, just had them hanging around, but if you don't have the knobs, you could just use bolts and a washer. And we're gonna go ahead and put these on here, and then this is gonna hang right here and be totally removable. No damage to your kayak at all. Well, let me get the, uh, the Velcro attached, because I think there's gonna be a trick about that that I'm gonna explain once I'm successful. And here's what it looks like when it's done. Basically, I've got room for everything I wanna put in here. You can make this as long or as short as you want. Obviously, I'm not taking this off. That's why this is getting in the way. Then basically, you just say piece of cord through a couple holes, and I've got some T-bolts right here. You pop it over the top. The only trick here is to make sure that the Velcro you have on top is longer than the Velcro you have on the bottom because you need room to be able to wrap around all the things you're going to put in. Now I use this Loctite spray adhesive because this is HDPE on this cutting board and I put that on the fabric as well. It looks like it's going to hold up but only time will tell on that. So you may have to play around with the adhesive you use to attach the Velcro to whatever you use as a backing. And you could use wood or, you know, whatever is rigid to do this. Good idea. Non-destructive. Perfect. Thanks again, John. Comments? Questions? Throw it down below. Thanks.